Welcome to episode number 53. 53. Wow. 53. That's and a lot. today is March 21st, 2010. Welcome to Getting Geeky with your host, Gina Shrek, and the occasional special guest, bringing tech tips and bite sized pieces. She's getting geeky. Getting goofy and yeah, getting random. Welcome to Getting Geeky. Okay, welcome. We're excited because we today are. we are going to talk about a couple things. Friends, really, is the name of this episode. Friends. Friends, because we're going to talk about a great gadget for making friends, meeting new friends when you're at a conference is. Or you know what would be really cool is if everyone at school, up at school. CSU, had one of these. And these that we're talking about? Pokens. Mm. Pokens. These are little cool things called Pokens. Great social media tool because <laughs> there's, there's a little Poken. And I love the fact that they're like a little high four. Instead yeah. of a high five, you can go, give me a high four. And they light up. Okay, well, here's, let's back it up. Because Pokens, you go online and you order these, or if you're putting together a conference, great thing to do order as people register, multiple. give everyone one of these Pokens, and then what you do is, I would take my Poken, she would, and I take the little cap off, this becomes a little USB, pop it in my laptop, and I go to the Pokens website, which loads up when you're putting this in for it the first does. time, and you enter all of your information. So whatever it is I want to share... If so, you don't want to share it, don't put it. Well, then don't play. You know what? There are some things that people don't want to share. Well, because they want to share everything else. Right. So I don't let's want you to know my middle name. I would. <laughs> it's Elise. Um, oh, but I could put on mine, I may want to put my Facebook um, info, my Twitter account, and my everything else website and everything else. Whereas you might want to just put your name and email. I do. Just my first and last name. <laughs> Not Elise. No. So then it's loaded on here. So now we're at a conference, and I can clip this to my little lanyard on my conference badge. Oh, right. Or keychain. Let's say that we just... <laughs> she'll be right back. <laughs> Let's say that we just put it on our keychain if we're walking around, and then I see somebody else with the poke, and I go, You hey, poking? High four! What up? What up? And then you high four, and they light up. Then all their data has just been exchanged. And it's similar to the bump. It the is. app that we were doing with our phones, mm -hmm. um, with the bump. You're but exchanging contact guys. info. But then it's really cool because you can go to the Pokens website, upload the contacts, and you have a list of all your friends. But what I love about it is it has a, it has a timeline. has a timeline. So let's say that I go to a conference in April. Well, it's going to have all of the contacts I met at that conference, and it's going to keep them. It's going to show when I met April. them. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I think that's a cool way to track your social interactions. It is. And integrate them with your other social media. Yes. So, so that's how you can make new friends. But keep the old. Because one is silver. And the other is gold. Let's say that they start to tarnish. And you want to pitch some of your friends. Pitch them. Such as friends that you make on Twitter. Twitter. Yeah, Twitter. so let's talk about a, a great site on Twitter to perhaps do some spring cleaning on your Twitter account. Now, for some reason, there are a lot of people who follow you. Why? I don't know. And you don't know who they are, but, you know, you look at their profile and you decide. Because you actually, I hire her. This is actually a broke college student that's always looking for work. And I hire her to... Um, go through all new followers, and she goes and looks at their profile. They're creepy or weird. Yeah, she I doesn't follow, follow them. them. But if I think, hey, this could benefit my mother's marketing, <laughs> yes, then I she follows them. them. Or if they're really funny, and yeah, or if they're witty. If it looks like it witty. would be a good connection for me, yes. but then let's say that they follow me, and then for some reason, for some reason, I don't. I mean, I don't know why, why anybody would I stop following know. me. What? But Who would want to stop say, following this? <laughs> let's say that they do. And a lot of times spammers will do this spammers. trick where they follow like 200, 200. or 1,000 people. A lot. <laughs> <laughs> and then what they do is as soon as you, they're hoping that you'll just follow them back. As soon as you follow them back, what, what do they, they do? do? They unfollow you. 
and they're playing the numbers game. They're trying to keep their numbers the same. So they follow a bunch of people. You follow them back, and then they dump all those people. Really they're actually exciting. called pump and dumpers. Pump and dumpers. Yeah. There's not even a, like a tweet name for them. Like no. Twump and twumper. Twumpers. Twerks is really what twerks. they are. They are twer twerks. So here's a great site you can go to. And I do this maybe once a month. And this is another, another thing that I, I farm out to the broke college student. That's going to have to be your new name. Broke college student. Broke college student. That's really creative. Yeah. So this is something that I can farm out to you easily because she goes to the website friend or follow. Go I do. Friend or follow dot com, and when you log into friend or follow, the first screen that it takes you to are here are all the people that you mm. are following that are not following you. They're not following you. So really, it's the chump page. The chumps. The twumps. <laughs> the twumps. And you can go through. Now, the hard part is you can't just click from that page and say unfollow all of them. This is where it is tedious. This is where it's tedious and time consuming. And broke college student can I actually do this. So I do it for she you. Actually, I do the dirty work. You have to click on each picture. It takes you to their Twitter page, and you have to unfollow. So, so you have my to mother back. has 1,025 people, which I'm, I mean, that's a big number. I'm so sorry. I know it is I'm kind so of sorry. kind of pathetic. You know what's really weird is I look at some of them. I go, I don't know that I ever followed them. I probably did. But oh, some of them are creepy looking. Oh, I probably did. So yeah, I don't think you. It's weird. I don't know what the deal is. But there's a lot. There's a lot. The point is there's a lot. And so you don't want to go through 1,025 when you have work to do and people to talk to, places to go, places to be. So I, who I just study, study, study all the time up at college. And then when I studying's done, I do not socialize. I work no. for my mother. To fingers to the bone. Fingers to the bone. So it's a Follow. great site. Unfollow. And Follow. then you can also look, and this is another good thing to do if you're a good friend. If you are high four. <laughs> high four. You can also go to the second tab and it shows you all the people who are following you that you have shunned. Shun the non believer. Shun. Shun. Yeah. Now maybe oh. it's just you've overlooked them or you haven't had the time, time to go and look to see should I follow these people back. So it's going to show you all the people that are following you, but you are not following them. Mm -hmm. And you can see, oh gosh, I, I can't believe oh, I missed gosh, I'm so these sorry. brilliant people brilliant. and there would be some on there that you'd want to follow. The last tab is really the true friend mm -hmm. BFF tab because it's people you're following and they're following you back. So it just gives just you a good snapshot of... Ways your to manage Twitter your life. Twitter friends. Twitter friends. Or twins? Twins. Your twins. You can't do it with everything. No, and it's really not that hard, is it? No, it is not. No. It was easy. It's easy. Fact, that was easy. It's super easy. So easy. So, until next time, keep getting geeky. Keep geeky.